I think I'll call this video, you win some, you lose some. From the house the other day, I could see some cattle were up on top of this dam, which is pretty unusual given that they're locked out of here. So I quickly came over, I got them out, and then I came to see the damage that they did. So we'll just go through what happened and how they got here. These are definitely cattle tracks. And they've all been over the top of this dam. There's obviously a bit of evidence here too. Certainly the first time that I've had cattle in this area, even if it wasn't deliberate on this occasion. They've definitely been stepping all through this new mulch that I put down. Uh, which is good and bad, I guess. I'll come through and I'll tidy this up a little bit. What is good news, though, is that a lot of that seed that I threw out the other day has already shot. So that is good news. However, there's big holes here where the cattle have been stepping. Strangely, everywhere that I put sugarcane mulch, they've stepped. They came over here. They didn't worry about the bamboo. They stepped all over that. Made a bit of a mess. But again, you can see that whatever seeds we've put down here have shot quite well. Surprisingly well. So I'm really happy about that. And of course the spillway. Big heavy animals have stepped all through this. This is exactly what I was hoping to avoid, but anyway. The good thing is green stuff is growing. So this is the bird seed mix. And my word, it has really gone off. I'll need to come over here and tidy this up. I'll probably throw either some more soil here or some grass or something here just to try and cover this area up. So now we need to find out how they got here. Bit of a sneak preview of something that uh, you'll see a video of soon. There's a new tank that's gone in here and we've got some new fencing going in. Really just to see that we can get some cattle into this area. We're farming kangaroos in there at present. And of course while the cattle were over this way, they've grabbed these new pipes that I have here. And they chewed the life out of them. Not to be happy with just one. Oh well, I can cut that off. Anyway, on to where they got through. I think I'm close. I can see the hot wire is all pushed down. Right, it's obviously very well earthed off now because it's not even live. So this has been broken. And I'll take a guess and say that it wasn't the cattle. Kangaroos do tend to frequent this area. And it would be my guess that they've probably hit it with speed and bounced through it. There's a fair bit of mass with a kangaroo moving like that. other end 
We've just snapped it. Anyway, that's not too big a deal. I can fix that. Maybe I might need to put something more than an electric fence through here. Unless I want to keep fixing it after the roos do what they do. Don't blame them. They're a big animal. They might have been running from me. Or they'd be hopping from me. Or a predator. You just don't know, but anything in the way like that, they just pretty much run over. Okay, well, that's mystery solved. Now I just need to fix up the mess. Like I said, a win and a loss. We're back at the bird seed experiment about a week later, and you can see that there's certainly been a lot of progress in the last week. There will be some more updates coming, so if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, bye for now.